Welcome to this week's webcast for Realty Times. I'm Leanne Lockin. And I'm Derry Hayes. Our real estate outlook reveals the housing recovery's got some real mojo. Home prices are now up a resounding 15% over the past year and according to a recent report. The mortgage moment reveals some of that double digit increase in home prices is the result of buyers rushing to market to beat higher mortgage interest rates. That's right. And in our city report, we learn where Bakersfield, California is located and why the lesser known metro area is forecast as the new number one town for home price growth. Right, in our Darryl. advice segment for buyers, we explain the importance of not pinching pennies, but counting pennies. And sellers need to know how to summarize their home for prospective buyers. Well, let's get started now with some real estate news that you can use. The nation's recovering housing market continues to really hum along with home prices increasing by 15% in June, according to online real estate brokerage, Movoto.com. Movoto just released its July 2013 State of the Real Estate Market Report, which covers the June 2012 to June 2013 year-long period. Now, the report also says inventories are up for the second month in a row. Unfortunately, the increase in inventories is not quite enough to offset double-digit home price increases. Movoto is optimistic more homes will be for sale later this year, and that could actually turn the strong seller's market into a buyer's market, at least in some markets. That's right. But for right now, across 38 cities tracked by Movoto's report, the list price per square foot increased by an average 15% rising from $158 in June 2012 to $181 by June 2013. The list price per square foot increased for 36 of the 38 cities that Movoto tracks. During the same June to June period, inventories dropped by more than 20 percent, costing the market some 24,000 homes. Meanwhile, inventories rose for a second month in a row. In June, nearly 3,600 properties were added to the supply of homes for sale. But that's a drop in the bucket compared to how many properties were lost over the past year. Yes, it was. Movoto's report is optimistic, though, for buyers. It reports if the month-to-month -month trend of rising inventories continues, prices could begin to level off or even fall before the end of the year. Movoto may be on to something. We've just learned in Silicon Valley, California, one of the hottest markets in the nation. Home prices dropped. That's right, dropped. 2% from May to June this year, according to MLS Listings Incorporated, the area's multiple listing service. That's the first time a May to June price decline has occurred in the area since 2008. And guess what? Inventories were up 7% from May to June. So yes, Movoto could be onto something. Now Movoto says higher inventories and lower prices could also help counteract rising costs associated with higher mortgage interest rates. Just in the past two months, the average benchmark interest rate for the 30-year fixed rate mortgages rose a full percentage point. That's right, and higher rates have already priced some buyers out of the market. And some fence-sitting buyers are, well, getting off their perch to buy a home before the rates get any higher. Well, it looks like we are in for quite an interesting yep. summer, Leanne. That's right, you better stay tuned.